Hello, lovely person. It is I, Nachi, the greatest artist on YouTube and on the internet. And I also haven't been posting for the past two weeks, so yay. But I'm finally back to my normal upload schedule uh, where I upload twice a week. Today we are doing something really interesting. We are working with Posca pants for the first time. I've never used them before and I hope you guys are gonna enjoy the video. I finally got my hands on some Posca pants. After having seen Posca pants online many, many times, I finally decided to buy some myself. I'm so happy that I finally got them and I want to give you guys a first impression and also create some art with them. Today, I got a box off of Amazon with 33 colors. Eight of those colors are metallic colors and the rest are just like normal colors. They came in a really cute box. After getting them, I tried to open them up, which was like actually very hard to do because all of them are single-handedly packed in plastic. So you gotta get a lot of trash out of it. By the way, my dumb <gasps> was too stupid to figure out that you can just twist them while being in the plastic packaging and you can open them up very easy in that way. I sadly didn't know that and for more than half of the packaging, I opened them up with a pair of scissors. Took me like 40 minutes. Lovely. Thank you. After having them unpacked, I wanted to do some quick swatches. As I said, I got 33 colors. I have a few colors that are quite similar to each other. For example, the straw yellow and the yellow. You can barely see the difference on the camera and also in real life, it's kind of hard to see the difference. So when you buy colors online, make sure that you actually got what you want and don't get colors that are too similar to each other. Other than that, I think all other colors look very pretty and different enough from each other to justify me having purchased such a big pack. I especially love the metallic colors. I think they are so pretty and, and I love the shine they have to it. After having unpacked and swatched for the first time, I decided to have a little bit of a color test. I knew on forehand that I wanted to draw Watson from Apex Legends. She's a new legend uh, in the game and just came out like two weeks ago. So I wanted to give the colors a try and see how they work on the paper I'm using. I did that and after I was done, I sketched out on a big A2 piece of paper, which is giant, and wanted to start coloring. And I was scared. I was so scared. I was just sitting there for probably half an hour, just contemplating uh, how to do this. But after I finally got my shit together, um, we jumped into this and got the work done. Oh, look at me doing my first stroke. I was so scared. So the thing is for me, I normally work with coping markers. I haven't worked with Posca pens ever. I watched a few tutorials before jumping into this, but still it's such a weird experience because Posca pens are so highly pigmented and they don't work like a coping marker where you have a brush pen and it works nicely on your paper. Posca pens are slightly different where they are very opaque. They are not very blendable, I would say. I think you can do a few gradients, but overall they are n solid colors and you shouldn't blend them together as much. So I needed to think of uh, an approach that would work for this picture because I'm used to blend the sh out of every drawing I make. A few informations about the Posca pens. I personally think they don't work very well on paper. I think every other artist that has tried to use them on paper before will tell you that as well. 
They are not necessarily made for paper. I know they advertise with that they work on almost every surface and they probably do, but paper is just not one of them. I tried them on metal and plastic as well. They work amazing on that. They also work amazing on wood. Um, and I heard they also work good on carport and stuff like that. They just don't work on paper. The paper is normally too thin. You need either really, really, really thick paper or you need, as I said, cardboard to use them. I am using paper that is 200 milligram paper and it was certainly not enough for the Posca pens. The Posca pens are scratching over the surface of the paper and slightly taking off the upper layer of the paper so you get small balls of paper laying around on top of your paper it it's a little bit weird i think you can see it in some of the um, recording as well that there's just like those small balls flying around you can uh, after the paper is dried down you can actually take it off which is nice. You can literally just brush over the paper with your hand very carefully and those small paper balls are gonna come off, which is nice. But overall, I would recommend not using Posca pens on paper. And if you do, be very careful when working with them. Overall, I had a lot of fun using these. As I said, I was it was a very different approach to what I normally do, but it was a pleasant surprise that I liked the Posca pens so much and I certainly will use them in the future for different projects. Mainly I want to use them for drawing on other surfaces like maybe fabric and metal and plastic. But for this first impression, I wanted to stick with something that I know of and that is paper. I didn't want to go too much out of my comfort zone and I think it worked out pretty well. Pasca pens are a lot of fun and I love, as I said, how opaque they are, but God, <gasps> they are annoying when it comes to activating them. To activate them, you need to shake them a lot. And oh boy, did I shake them? But if you don't have a problem shaking them every two minutes, it's gonna be fine. You kind of get used to it. Uh, it's just small con to all the positives this uh, pen brings. I decided on drawing on a very big piece of paper because the Pasca pens I got are size M5. It just tells you what size the tip is and they are very big. You can also get them in smaller, but I wanted them for bigger projects. So I decided on drawing on a big piece of paper so I don't need to draw too many small details on a tiny piece of paper. And then I'm just gonna f*** it up and we don't want that. <laughs> Overall, to just sum up the pros and cons I had with the Posca pens, let's start out with the cons. I think they are not beginner friendly. I think you should know a little bit what you're doing before you jump in using them. They are a little bit more on the expensive side. So if you wanna get them, try to maybe only get one or two and get used to the pens to figure out if they are even something you wanna work with. They are not blendable or at least not very blendable. If you want something you want to be able to blend, I would recommend getting Copic markers instead or any kind of other alcohol-based marker. They are not made for paper. As much as they advertise for them being for paper, I'm a hundred percent sure these are not very good on paper, at least not thin paper. So please watch out when you want to use them on paper as your paper might rip or get damaged. To the positives, I love that they have a lot of different sizes. There is, I think, five or six different tip sizes you can get for those pens. I love that they have so many different colors and also do have metallic colors. 
I love that the white they have is so opaque you can literally use it on top of other pants just in general every color can be used on top of a different color as soon as they are dried down you can just put another color on top and it's gonna still be vibrant it's still gonna cover up everything and I love that so much in general I just think the colors are lovely they are so bright they are so vibrant the opacity is amazing and overall I think they are a lot of fun to play with and work with and I think you should get that so I would definitely definitely recommend the Posca pants but yeah we are kind of coming to the end of the video and it is time to finally show you guys my finished first Posca pen artwork as I said I drew Watson from Apex Legends I hope you like how this turned out Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and how the artwork turned out. I had a lot of fun as always drawing this artwork and I need to admit Posca pens are probably gonna be something I'm gonna work with a lot from now on. If you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also check out my other social medias they are all linked down below and I see you guys for a new video on Tuesday. Bye-bye.